Hey Jimmy, mind passing me the chocolate spread? Sure. Thank you. Wait, when when did you refill your glass? I never refilled my glass. It was that way when the scene cut to me. Oh. Wait, now you're not even eating bread anymore. Yeah, never really liked bread anyway. Wait, where, where, where does your beanie come from? With my favorite beanie. That doesn't answer the question, and now you're not even wearing the same shirt anymore. Hey, I'm not the one looking after continuity for this thing. And, and now you're not even human anymore. What the hell is going on? What is going on is I'm screwing with the continuity for the scene. Hey guys, and welcome to the very first tutorial in my Filmmaking 101 series, where I want to cover some very important filmmaking techniques, tips and tricks, without boring you for a full 30 minutes. Today I want to talk about continuity, what it is, why it is so important, and why it is so easy to get it all so horribly, horribly wrong. Continuity in filmmaking is all about ensuring that the action unfolds seamlessly for your viewer. On the surface that might seem really easy. You get a bunch of actors, you get someone with a camera, then you go film your scene, you edit it and then you're done, right? Unfortunately, it is much more complex than that. The difficulty with maintaining continuity comes into play when you shoot the same scene multiple times, potentially using different cameras and different angles, and then you try to edit all of those clips together into a single coherent scene. Suddenly, every movement of every actor becomes really important. Just imagine in one take an actor is waving with their left hand, and in another take they're waving with their right hand. If you miss this during editing and you cut those clips together, uh oh, you just introduced discontinuity. To make matters worse, the same goes for everything else in your shot, from the actor's costumes to the makeup, the lighting, the background elements, even the audio. If there are any inconsistencies between different shots in your final edit, you have a problem with continuity and that is potentially very bad. Okay, let's rewind. What's the big deal with continuity? Why is discontinuity so bad, other than that it is kind of hard to pronounce? In order to tell a compelling story, it is vitally important to keep your viewers immersed. For that, your story and your action need to flow seamlessly. The moment you have discontinuity and the viewers notice it, it jolts them up and throws them out of the story. They notice that the story isn't real because the reality you are trying to present to them is inconsistent. It's like something's gone wrong with the matrix. It is therefore extremely important to try to keep continuity throughout your entire film project. However, that is easier said than done and to make you feel a little bit better, let me give you two quick examples where popular TV and even big blockbuster movies still struggle to get it right. For example, if you watch your favorite TV show and there's a scene where people are talking out on the street, rather than focusing on their faces, try to have a look at what is going on in the background and the people walking by. You will notice that from shot to shot, people appear and disappear randomly, which is simply a result of the fact that the scene was shot with multiple takes that were later edited together. Or take Jurassic Park. Remember that scene where the ginormous T-Rex walks out of her enclosure through the fence to eat some people? Sure you do. A few minutes later, the T-Rex shoves the car with little Timmy in it back over the fence at the exact same location. However, have you ever noticed that all of a sudden on the other side of the fence is this humongous canyon? How did the T-Rex get out of there? Fly? Anywho, my point is that even in professional television and movie productions where people are trained to deal with continuity issues, where they have full-time personnel responsible for this important aspect of the filmmaking process, they still make mistakes. It is very important to pay attention to how you film every scene, where everyone's positioned and how the actors move, what their costumes look like, and try to keep your final edit in mind. Continuity is not easy, and if you look for it, you can find continuity issue in anything that you see on popular TV. However, it is a very important aspect of filmmaking, and I hope that this video has helped you understand it a little bit better. And that's all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and as always, if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. A lot of thanks also to Jimmy from Jimmy America Photo for helping out with the sketch and to Lottie, who unfortunately does not yet have her own YouTube channel, but they can check out Violet LeBeau on YouTube. There's lots of dog film footage on there. <laughs> that's I'm pretty, pretty I'm all pretty, there is. That is pretty much all there is. They'll enjoy it. Um, 
If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, favorite it and share it with the world. And if you do want to see more cool filmmaking and visual effects tutorials, don't forget to go to youtube.com slash surfaced studio and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, we will see, see you later. later.